All right guys, so I wanted to show you how to do an oil change on a Predator 3500 watt inverter generator. I bought this at Harbor Freight. Um, my wife and I live off the, off the grid, so to speak. We don't have running water or electricity out here, so we use this Predator generator to get our power. Um, and our water we get from a well that we run off the generator. So, needless to say, it requires service. Uh, today I'm just going to show you guys how to do an oil change and make sure this thing is running in tip-top shape. Um, first thing you got to do is there's two Phillips head screws on the top right here. Pull those out. Then underneath this flap, there's a little clip. Pull that out. And you pull from here. And the cover comes off. Set that off to the side. And down inside the generator, let me show you. There is a 10 millimeter bolt underneath the oil fill. Pull that out. And on the bottom of the generator, you kind of see it down there is a rubber plug that comes out of the case so you can drain the oil. You kind of see that here. That just snaps back in when you're done. So make sure that that's pulled out and then get your oil catch can ready. I use a one gallon milk jug. This funnel actually works pretty well, set it down inside. And you can wedge it underneath so that it goes right underneath that plug where the oil comes out. That way, whatever does spill and kind of come around the edges, you can make sure you get it all. Let that drain. Don't lose your uh, drain plug. Probably would be good to take this off before so that the oil crankcase can breathe a little bit to let that oil out. Sometimes I will Try to pull this over a little bit to the side. Kind of tilt it. Make sure that if there's any oil kind of caught in there, it will come out as well. Alright, so now that that's done draining, put this plug back in. Snug it up. Clean up any extra oil that got on anything you don't want it on. Funnel out. Make sure it's clean underneath. It does have a tendency to get a little bit of oil on the bottom of this tray in here. So if you can kind of get your hand in there and spin it out, that's a good idea. So it doesn't collect unnecessary mess. And then go ahead and put the plug back in. There you go. Clean that up. And we'll grab the funnel. And it comes with the uh, generator. Clean this up a little bit. Make sure there's no dirt on it. And this generator calls for full synthetic 10W30. I'll just get it from O'Reilly's. I 
believe this generator takes about one quart. So just stick it in there, screw it all the way in. Make sure you screw it all the way in, that's the best way to get the level. Right at the fill line. Perfect. So you have to check the air filter. Right here is the air box. There's a clip on the bottom. Just pop that down. That lets the bottom of the air box loose. And then you need a flathead screwdriver. There's a clip on the top as well. Pop that down. Looks like it's got a little bit of debris getting in around the edges. So I'm going to clean this up with the air compressor and the air filter. It has a little bit of a notch in this corner that goes at the top right hand side. Put that back in there. Get the cover. Make sure you get that tube back on there. A pair of pliers. Top in, put that clip on the bottom, and that's it. Let's throw the side back on. So bottom goes in first, has these uh, these clips. Put that in, slide it up, and then there's little push grommets on the sides. Push that in. back on the side. I would assume that they want you to use this to check the oil, but it's honestly kind of hard to get your hand down in here and do all that. So generally I'll just take those two Phillips head screws out and pull that side access off. I should also mention that when you do these oil changes, it's a good idea to keep record of the hours. So on the front, you can click through the modes and there's options available to see the hours and the voltage output and the amp output and all that stuff. So I would make sure you record those hours and then this calls for uh, an oil change. I believe. can't remember off the top of my head, but I think it's about every 30 hours. But um, that's kind of a personal preference. If you want to do it more often, then you're welcome to. If you want to do it less, uh, I wouldn't go more than about maybe 40 or 50 hours. It's a bit much on a little change. So, uh, yep, that's it. Hope this helps out.